Hey everyone, how are you? Today I would like to make a video about some useful tips of charging devices of DJ Agoras for you. I think you will be interested in this. Next, in this video, I will talk about the compatibility between the charging devices and the batteries. And then I will introduce how to use the T30 charger to charge the T40 batteries in fast mode. I think many people will be interested in this. And actually, some people already asked me about this question. And finally, I will introduce how to use the air-cooled heatsink. For example, whether we need the air-cooled heatsink for the T30 batteries, or how to use it for the T40 batteries. OK, we will go for it. So firstly, let's talk about the compatibility between charging devices and the batteries. As you could see in this form, for Agoras T40, T20P, and T30, their chargers and the generators are actually compatible with each other, which means for T40, T20P, and T30 chargers, they are compatible to charge their batteries between each other. However, what you have to pay attention to is that the T20P battery can be only used on T20P aircraft. Besides, when you use the T40 battery on T20P or T30, or when you use the T30 battery on T20P or T40, then you have to reduce the load, as you could see in this picture. So through this form, you will know the compatibility between these charging devices and the batteries which is important. And also, here we focus on the T40, T20P, and T30 DJI generators. As I mentioned just now, actually, for these generators, they are compatible with the T20P, T30, and T40 batteries. And also, in this form, it shows the power, including the mass power and the charging power of each DJI generator and also the charging time, as you could see, and also the engine oil you should use. Here, an important tip for you is that if you would like to use the DJI T30 charger or generator to charge the T40 or T20P batteries, then you have to upgrade the firmware of DJI T30 charger or generator so that you could use it. The firmware of 05, 02, 0335 or above will be available for this. And the second topic is important and uh, you will be interested in this. That's about how to charge the battery in fast mode using T30 charger. Nowadays, I think some of you already received the T40 batteries. And sometimes you have to use the T30 charger to charge these batteries. So some of you always ask me how you can use the T30 charger to charge the T40 batteries in fast mode. Here, we have two selections for you. The first selection is to use two original AC cables to reach 7200 watts output power, so it will be in fast mode, as you could see here in this picture. But here, we have two notes for you. Firstly, the two AC cables should be respectively inserted into two different AC power outlets with related current over 16 amperes. And secondly, only one AC cable could be used indoor, as generally the power is not enough for two AC cable using. Which means, if you would like to use two AC cables, please pay attention to these two nodes, which are important for the safe use of the charger. And actually, we have the second selection for you. In some countries, actually, you may use the 110 voltage in daily life. So if what you use are 110 voltage 16 ampere AC cables, then you could modify them with the 220 voltage plugs. But this should be finished under the guidance of professional electrician. So if you would like to do this, just be careful and ready for that. In this way, can you realize the fast mode using T30 charger? Also, in this method, we have some notes for you. Firstly, please purchase a universal generator with an output voltage of 220 voltage and is 
nominal power should be above 9000 watts. And secondly, please connect the two modified AC cables with 220 watts to the universal generator above we mentioned just now. And also, we suggest you buy two more original AC cables for using 110 voltage. Because in some places, you could only use 110 voltage, but in other places, 220 wattage could be available. So these two original 110 and the two modified 220 wattage will be suitable for different situations. However, here what you should know is that never connect one charging channel of the charger to 110 and the other to 220 wattage at the same time because the charging could fail or it may hurt the batteries or charger. And our third topic is about how to use the air-cooled heatsink. Many people are curious about this and then would like to know how to use it. So firstly, if you use the T30 charger to charge the T40 batteries or T30 batteries, even you use the fast mode, the charging power is up to 7200 watts. In this case, actually, you don't have to use the air-cooled heatsink because at this moment, the power is relatively low and the temperature of the battery is not so high. And you could use the air-cooled heatsink when you use the DJI D12000IE generator or T40 charger for 9000 watts fast charging mode. As you could see in this picture, there is a port in the charging cable which could connect to the air-cooled heatsink so it will work when it's charging. Okay, that's all the content we have today and I hope this will be helpful for you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please just let me know. Have a good day.